Now, isn't that amazing that you have you have these two things, these two principles, or can we even call them uh, aspects of deity, aspects of God? You have the laws of God, and you have the love of God. And the world that we live in today is increasingly beating the drum of pick your side. Either you take God's love or you take God's laws, but not both. As if you have to pick, this is a, what you'd call a fool's choice. It's a false dichotomy because God's love is not separate and distinct or individual, uh, individually isolated from his laws. The fact that God loves us means that he gives us laws. Because without that, all we're left with is the person staring at us in the mirror trying to decide how to live our life, and that's not going to go very well. So we get God's laws as a sign of his love and realize, oh, it actually fits together. They're not separate. President Dallin H. Oaks has talked extensively about the love of God and the laws of God being together, not isolated. So this idea of faith and works, same thing. So some of you may have loved ones who are struggling with different aspects of moral life, different challenges that they're facing. And if we're not careful, it will start to feel like you have to then pick between loving your child and loving God, or loving your child and staying as a faithful member of the church. Brothers and sisters, this is, this is not a decision you have to make. The trick is to figure out how do you love God and love your child and still uphold the laws of God? When Lehi was eating the, the fruit of the tree of life, he saw that two of his sons wouldn't come and partake. He didn't leave the fruit of the tree of life to try to help his sons. He stayed at the tree and he kept beckoning and he kept loving his sons. So it's this it's this beautiful pattern that I see coming out of the Epistle of James of trying to find how all of the attributes of the gospel fit together rather than putting them into competition with each other.